Welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can grow your own bean sprouts easily without any soil. So to start your beans you're going to need some cheesecloth and I'm going to be using this plastic colander as the uh, growing medium for these beans. So I did soak quite a few beans, probably more than I actually needed and they do double in size after they've been soaking for 12 to 24 hours but that's okay I'm going to create two layers of beans in this colander so after I've spread out my first layer of beans I've cut myself another chunk of cheesecloth and I'm just laying it down on top and then putting the rest of the beans on the next layer So once you've got your beans all spread out, you can give them another good rinse under the tap with some cold water. And I plan to rinse these at least twice a day, usually morning and evening. Uh, you can rinse them more often, every three to four hours is okay to do as well. I'm not usually home during the day, so just twice a day is good enough. So then I just need to cover them up with the cheesecloth and I'm going to give them another good rinse under the tap. And then they can just drain in the colander. I just set it inside another bowl to catch the water. I put a plate on top of the sprouts just to add a little weight and keep them from uh, popping up too fast, making them a little bit stronger. Then cover them up and keep them on my counter nearby the sink so I don't forget to rinse them twice a day. So here we are on day two. We'll have a close look here at the beans to see how they're doing. So far they are just slowly expanding. You can see a few tiny little sprouts are starting to form. Just have a quick peek on the bottom to see if any roots are coming through. And I think I can see just a few starting to poke through the cheesecloth. Here we are in day three and you can really start to see some sprouting action happening now with these beans. So here we are in day four and the bean sprouts are really taking off now. The roots have taken a good solid hold on the cheesecloth and they're starting to get a couple inches in length. So I missed filming on day five for these sprouts, but we will just jump into day six and see if these sprouts are ready to harvest. Okay, it has been six days since we started our sprouts here and I think it's looking like these bean sprouts are ready to harvest because they are bursting out of this container as you can see they look great I've kept them out of the light the whole time so that they don't turn green you don't want them to turn green because they will start tasting more bitter so we're gonna harvest these up and wash them and hopefully I can make something with my supper tonight so as you may recall I did set up these mung beans in two layers in this container. So 
So we're going to see how that worked out. How easy it is to take them apart. So you can see, just pulling a few out, we got some really nice, long, juicy looking bean sprouts here. So I'm just going to pull them all out and wash them up and we'll see how much of a harvest we got here. So these pull away from the cheesecloth very easily, roots and all. You can eat the roots as well. I'm really happy with how these are looking and it looks like I'm gonna have quite a quite a good supply of bean sprouts here for the next week or so. So this is the top layer. You can pretty much pull everything right out of this cheesecloth and I'm thinking it could be possibly reused again. This is the second layer. So as you can see here, after a little bit of rinsing and picking, um, the cheesecloth comes out fairly clean. You could actually probably reuse it again to grow another batch of sprouts. This cheesecloth I picked up at the dollar store, Dollarama, dollar twenty-five. It's also 100% cotton, so it's fully compostable. So. If you don't want to reuse it or you want to reuse it just a few times and then you can just throw it into your compost pile. So I think this makes a great medium for growing bean sprouts and for growing microgreens. So you can keep your bean sprouts stored in the fridge for up to a week. I've been using them for my salads. I've cooked them up in a stir fry and added them to some soup. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video on how to grow bean sprouts without soil using cheesecloth. Please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. Thanks for watching.